Greetings everyone, my name is LG and this is Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch walkthrough on the Sonic PlayStation 3. This time I decided to take a short break and have some fun. And since I received this uh, travel spell not so long ago, I just would like to run around in all the places where I was before and check if I can do something interesting there or something changed and, and stuff like that. Meanwhile, uh, in the off time I was doing some leveling up and I would like to just show you what happened. Here you go, here is Mitty, he is in the top metamorph level and yeah, he's already level 22. Good stuff. And what else? What happened? Burr, Metamorph 2. And really soon I should just metaform Metamorph, Go Go, Scully, and I think Lemo too. But anyway. Let's go, first of all, uh, let's go to Castaway Co. To the place of the swimsuits. Maybe we will find someone here who we can help and, and so on. Oh, uh, did I talk with this girl before? My purses are nearly empty. And yet, there is so much more that I wish to buy. I simply must have the very latest bathing suits. Why must I be denied? Gee, you sure seem to like shopping. Oh, look at that! It's perfect! Simply too perfect! I must have it! Oh, and that one also! Flipping Heckman, she is not even noticed us. She just can't stop ogling that peddler's wares looks like. Uh, miss, excuse me, miss, are you sure it's a good idea to be buying all those things? Only you mentioned you didn't have that much left in your purse, I mean. Please, do not get in my way, there is so much that I need to buy. You don't have to buy it all right now, though, maybe you should save up a little first. Do not trouble me with such petty considerations. I do have to buy it all immediately. I want it. Do you not see? It sounds to me like this girl is in need of a big lap of restrained dolly boy. Hadn't we better do something? Of course, uh, let's help this this girl. Yeah, she can't keep spending on her money like that. Daddy, let's find her the restraint she's missing then, ain't it? Okay, if I remember well, I have some, yeah, I have some restraint in my locket, so let's give heart to her. Yeah, I'm kinda out of uh, the heart pieces, so I should gather some of them if, uh, if I can. Hmm? Whatever am I, whatever am I, what's going on here? Phew, it looks like, looks like she's back to normal. Was it, was it you who put an end to my, my compulsion? That's right, Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies at your service. Mr. Drippy, this isn't the time to be showing off. I dread to think that what would have Become of me had I continued my relentless shopping. Please accept this, a small token of my thanks. Oh, nice, but you still are poor a bit. I mean, you are out of money. Why do you give me money? Well, anyway, thank you. Rent complete. And as you can see, well, Maybe you cannot see, but I did some uh, errands too, meanwhile, so I have a lot of uh, merit stamps 
and merit cards. So maybe later on I can buy things like that. By the way, um, a lot of people nowadays have the same problem as that girl we were just talking to before. So a lot of people in real life need some restraint too. Oh, and look who here is, it's Horace. I was looking for you a real long time ago. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, I have to cast the Spirit Medium. Oli, there you are. You crossed the desert too, I see. But what exactly are you wearing? You look ridiculous. Well, we didn't really have a choice. Everybody has to wear a swimsuit here in Castaway Co. Ah, uh, swimming. I used to love being in the water. But it's not quite the same when you are a ghost. You don't even get wet. Gee, I'm sorry to hear that. Ha! Ah, don't worry about me, Oli. There's a plenty of good things about being a ghost. Hey! Is it, uh, is it me or... Do you look like someone who's taken the trials? Ha! Taken them? He didn't just take them, shorty. He passed them with flying flipping colors. He did? Did he? Well, bully for him. Come and show off to me when they are calling him the Sage of Ages. As polite as ever I see. Big a little so and so. Anyway. It looks like you are well on your way to becoming a sage now, Oli. I suppose your Nascan is coming along nicely too. Nascan? Uh, is that the, the language? Uh, I mean, there are some... There is one page at the end of the Wizard's, Wizard's Companion. Um, let's just continue. My... Uh, Nascar? <laughs> That's not it. Nascan, he said. It's a language people used to speak ages ago. Proper ancient it is. There's bits of it in your wizard's companion if you look. Well, well. So you do know something after all, big, big squeak. Yes, the very first wizard companion was written in Nascan script. And there are still bits of pieces of it in modern editions like yours too. That's why every copy contains a guide to the Nascan alphabet. Wow, that's pretty neat. I'm glad you think so, Oli, because I've prepared a special puzzle for you. One that will test your Nascan comprehension. Now open your wizard companion and turn to the page headed The Tools of Wizardry. If you look closely, you will see some ancient Nascan script there. Your task is to try to, to cheaper it. Let me know when you have worked it out. Ooh, nice. Let's check the wizard companion. And I don't really know which place. Well. This is the Nascan alphabet. So here it is. I don't really think I can memorize it. I tried to learn Japanese and I had um, <laughs> some problems with the uh, kana, I mean the katakana and hiragana. Uh, this is not the same, but yeah, this is, well, it's almost the same, <laughs> at least for me, so it's uh, really hard. So let's try to find out where, where that, uh, what, what was the name of, of the thing again? Tools of Wizardry, okay. Tools of wizardry, tools of wizardry, let's see, uh, let's check the table of contents, what's the wizard, oh, tools of wizardry, page 13, 
Oh, here it is. Ooh, and I can see some writing here. Um, is there? Hmm, no, no other writings. So, uh, I have to translate this. Okay, first two letters are. Yeah, two hmm, cat eyes. Yeah, let's check it. Uh, I think I will just uh, go here. So, two cat eyes. Hmm, it seems like it's the L. So, we will start with two L's. Okie dokie. So, which is the next one? Let's write out. Ah. L no. Did it did it. L L E M S Lemsy. Ah. Lems J no. Alright guys, I think uh, I will figure this out later on. There's a whole section that teaches uh, this visual campaign. Does it say something? Did you look at the page? You just need to the cheaper NASCAN that's written there. I'm talking about the NASCAN that's actually part of the original picture, of course. Hmm. Anything else on there is probably just uh, doodles done by Ward Apprentice Wizard. Oh, so maybe I'm not translating the right part? Ah, that's so mean. Nah. Okay. So, part of the picture. Yeah. Oh! No way. Here it is. That's really long. Oh, man. Okay. So, I have to translate this, uh, maybe I will fast forward here. Alright folks, I, I think I, I just uh, figured it out. It's not easy, so I just want to summarize uh, the the things what I I just uh, noticed. First of all, tools of wizardry. This is the page where you have to search uh, for the the scan thing, and you can find uh, one here up. But as uh, Hora says, this is just uh, something which is. Uh, not important and the important thing is here at the feet of uh, or the foot of uh, the wizard you can see uh, this lot of things 
if uh, if you just uh, get this, then it will say revived synth. Uh, so something uh, not not readable or readable, but um, which has no meaning. But uh, if you read the guide here in the Noskan alphabet, there is a Noise's guide to reading the ancient text. The first point says, first the beginning of the pass uh, passage and start reading from right to left using the guide on the opposite page of the uh, thingy. So if uh, we read this well from right to left means from the down to the top and that will be finest fiber so let's try it out let's go back to Horus yeah okay and here he says, I'm talking about the Nascans dot that uh, actually part of the original picture, of course. Anything else on there is probably just doodles done by a bored apprentice wizard. So, finest, finest. Uh, I don't know if I have to put a space here fiber 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 ah. fiber confirm okay maybe I have to put a space here uh, which one is space is this okay fiber Yeah. Woohoo! Well done! Yes, we wizards should always wear robes worn from the finest of fibers. Mine are made of material from the sky tree. How about that? Really? Neato! My clothes are made from the sky tree too. What? But only sages are allowed to wear sky tree clothes. You are not a sage. <sighs> now, now, midget face, don't get in a thizzy. The old lady down the hutic gave us them for free, ain't it, holy boy? F for free? You flucky little. And here I am about to give you something else brilliant, but I suppose you did solve my puzzle. Here. Ooh. Ah. Uh. A new spell! Wakati? Ah. Thanks, Horus! Ah, don't mention it! It's the least I can do for another wannabe sage. Now I think it's time for me to move on again. I think I will stow away on one of the ships that visit the harbor here. No one's ever going to spot me after all. Goodbye for now, Holy. Ah, <sighs> goodbye, Horus. I think we'll find you in Hamelin. So later on, I will go there. But first of all, let's check what's up here. Oh, yeah. Um, we already talked with her. We need some 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 heart piece. I remember well and we need some kind of dagger for her yeah I just want to show you something guys here are the question marks and it says uh, ding dong dell dwelling girl appears to have undergone a sudden change of disposition so the question marks uh, we did not talk with them so if you check there is one thing ding dong dell Another ding dong dell on the moon, a forest dweller, eastern part of rolling hills, 
Ah, I don't know where that is, by the way. Golden Groove. Peace has returned to Golden Groove, so the fairies are back. Ooh. Oh, no. But something still seems to be troubling them. Okay. Let's go and... Let's go and travel to... For example, let's start with the Golden Groove. I was there a long time ago. What could uh, be here? Let's check it. I really hope it's not at the other end of the place. Mm. Let's just run around. Maybe I can find it really fast. Uh, is something written on the map? Maybe... Ooh! At the other end of the place... Uh, okay, then let's just run through this place. I'm really sure that uh, nothing uh, wants to <laughs> fight with us now. Did I use the quicken growth? No. Uh, okay. Maybe I should do it. Hmm. Anyway... Which way do I have to go? So this, this place is still empty. In the earlier part uh, we just heard the story from Mr. Rippy that uh, this place is usually filled uh, with a lot of fairies it's, uh, it's the home of them, one of the home of the fairies but at the moment, uh, well, not at the moment it was attacked by Shadar and there was a... a whoa! Uh, there was a, a pond at the south part of Golden Grow and uh, I had to use Rejuvenate on, on it. Yeah, and it somehow fixed uh, the place, but it seems that uh, there is still some trouble here. Let's check out, let's check it out. Um, maybe this this guy or I don't know what can be here. Ooh, that's a fairy. Or isn't it? Yeah, it's a fairy. Hi! What? But the forest just being sorted, man. What? How's that then? Hey, how's that? Calm down, man, will you? What? Ripper boy, is that you? When did you come back by here, man? Then. Just now, man, Oli boy here lifted the curse Shadar put on me, ain't it? What? This little human by here? What is uh, it human say again? Looks can be deceiving, is it? Anyway, Ripper boy, I'm glad you're here. Need your help, I do. Why? What have you done now? I ain't done nothing, man. It's the forest, ain't it? Being terrorized, it is. It ain't been peaceful five minutes and now these blinking hyperbores have come along, pinching all our flipping mushrooms. But there are heaps of mushrooms in Golden Grove. I'm sure you could let them have some. What? No way, man. Those monsters have got an unstable appetite. They will eat uh, every fungus in the forest if we don't stop them. Mm, sounds like proper pickle that does. What do you reckon, Ollie boy? Shall we go and sort them out? Ooh, it gives a lot of stamps. Um, this won't be easy. Let's take it and do it. Alright, well, get rid of those monsters somehow. What? Daddy! Um, 
Do you know where proper nasty don't you? They are proper nasty don't you? Don't worry man, Oli boy will be fine. He'll have the Lord High Lord of Fairies with him, won't he? Drippy man, you're hell of a brave. Tha boy bah. Now I heard there is three of those hyperbores all together. We are counting on you, ain't it? Okay, so I have to find yeah, three boars. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's do this. I think I will just travel. Yeah. Uh, that seems a good idea. By the way, I will go out from the forest and travel back to the north. And then I come down to the south again and Golden Grove it will be faster than going up north and then going south again this is the faster way uh, by the way yeah my stats are filled I mean MP and HP are filled let's find oh these are normal boars am I right sore boar and snap cap uh, just yeah these are the armaments yeah by the way uh, <laughs> I was crying because to you because uh, of uh, I was not able to set that all uh, all party members um, should fight against the same monster. So, but ooh, oh, that's best. That's not good. He looks angry. Okay. Snort. Mm. Let's fight. No slacking, you lot. Ooh, this uh, won't be an easy fight. Let's uh, go with Mitty and fight with the little boars first. So. I will just show you. Ah, I have to go to Holy Boy, and in the tactics there is the target, and you can uh, choose between attack leader's target, different target, or weakest target. So, if I choose leader's target, then the one, one uh, who is the leader, will. We'll just uh, lead the fight too. So let's go back to Mitty and fight with the boars, actually. Hmm, they are not so tough. Yeah, they, they cannot really do too much harm to us, so. But uh, this this errand gives us a lot. Oh, I can see that uh, Mickey has a lot of stamina now, so he can be um, on the ground for a lot of time. Nito. Let's see how much EXP we receive. Oh, that's kind of kind of neat amount. One down, two to go. Nice. Let's find the next one. Uh, it's down on this road. It's 
really nice that uh, these wars give a lot of XP and we receive, well, even more stamps than, than I uh, just this? expected. So let's start with the little boars. After defeating them, it will be easier. So it's done. It's a gift. Go go leveled up and one to go. He is in the middle of this road. This is the last one, folks. with it let's go um yeah let's go with mini let's start with the big boss now hyper War. this is the metamorphed version of, of the boar I reckon Oh, what happened here? Oh, never mind. Ooh, I'm almost out of... Out of stamina. I wanna receive this. Yeah. Well, the yellow glimpse is always good, but... Well... It's not really useful uh, at the end of the fight. Black Blast. Woohoo! Boars are defeated. Let's go back to the fairy guy. <laughs> and I'm really sure that he will start his saying with what? Maybe after this. Oh, I, I really wonder why are those boars so aggressive? Even if they are really weak, they just uh, attack me. Let's fill up my stats and here we go. Ooh. This guy is attacked by... Uh... Look, Mr. Rippy, it's another monster. Oh, Nickers, poor lad, don't stand a chance, man. Come on, Nolly boy, let's get rid of that horrible beastie. Whoa, this is the... Yeah, top metamorphed boar thing. Okay, this uh, might be... Hard fight. We start with the little ones. Uh, no, they aren't so hard to defeat. Well, I think that's all. Yeah, I have to switch to Lemo. It's actually better now than Mr. Mighty. 
Mithy. Oh. Alrighty. Hi. Ah, are you alright? Just about, man, just about. That monster was hell of a fight frightening. That was a full bore, see? Much tougher than the other monsters they are. Well, don't worry, these they are all gone now. What? I don't believe it. Tha boys. The forest is safe once more. Take this, will ya? It's a symbol of how grateful we all are, ain't it? A pointy hat and 700 killers. A pointy hat? Oh, and a lot of stamps. That's really cool. Pointy hat, pointy hat. Is this good for Oliver, maybe? No, what is the pointy hat? Is that a... This aptly named hat is the first thing that comes to mind when one thinks of wizarding hatwear. Headgear. Hmm. I don't really know who could wear this. Ah, no. Headgear is only for... No, no way. Okay, maybe uh, for some... Some familiars, but I don't know. Uh, for keeping a safe trip, boy, I reckon them fairies who did a runner will be coming back before long, like. Okie dokie. So, let's just check it out. What happens if I go out from the forest? Or Golden Grove? And I go back? Maybe... No. They are not here. Hmm. Okie dokie. Then let's continue our journey and find a new place to go. Let's travel to Ding Dong Dell. We were there really a long time ago. And before we go inside Ding Dong Dell, I just would like to show you a place. Um, when I was running around, I just found it. I think it's uh, really interesting. If you come here to the east part of Ding Dong Dell and run into this place. Ooh. What is this? Yeah, I don't know what's inside, I just came till they're here, so... Ooh, hi there. Uh, is that a, a monkey? A monkey creature? Statue? Hi. Everyone, panic. Everything, alright? Um, they're speaking like me. <laughs> Around first, many monsters. You run away, go home. Uh, wasn't this the guy who was uh, in the Temple of Trials? Forest, very, very dangerous. Run away, go home. Hmm, and I can see something there. Swainy, Swain. I, I just... Oh! A sealed... Ah! Something... So... Ooh! Spring lock! Worked on it! Battler... Something... Let me see... Where is the music? It's really strange that 
no music uh, is is here made from very sturdy materials this badge helps protect its wearer from enemy blows okay can you wear it no maybe go go then no maybe no hmm maybe Oliver oh oh yeah he can wear it nice ah oh, it's so strange that uh, no music is is here okay hello boy listen first very dangerous escape run away huh what's going on monsters everywhere rampaging monsters destroy forest Th that's terrible which monsters are these then rhino boar big we see five dangerous very dangerous escape run away but what about you don't you guys live here we stay in forest protect our forest come on Oli boy these people need a hand let's teach those beasties a lesson alrighty we will help you protect your forest no very dangerous you boy too weak now that's where you're wrong see Oli boy by here might not look up too much but he's got some proper tasty spells spells what a spell good taste <laughs> oh no a spell is something that a wizard uh, I think this can wait let's go mr. Rippy Ooh, nice what can be here will we go deeper inside this forest maybe oh no, we are just going outside yeah I think I have to find a fight with this uh, rhino boar and I think one hit and they are down good stuff Nito 6 XP one down four to go mm. yeah let's finish them off really quick here goes nothing Okay, Lemel is the fastest. Nice. Uh, sometimes I just wonder if I could make this a bit faster and skip some. Skip, for example, this uh, running in. And this at the end. Or is this only possible uh, with pushing the buttons and so on? Yeah, maybe that's the case. Rhino War! Here it goes. We did it! Nice. Oh, by the way. Uh, did you notice that Swain has a new weapon? Oh, where is the last one? Yeah, uh, at the end in Hamelin, when we got back from the past, I think uh, that was the time when Marcusin uh, gave us... Oh no, Gaskin gave us uh, uh, this... Uh, alchemy recipe when uh, when we ju uh, when he just departed uh, from us and I had all the parts uh, which was needed so I just built this uh, really nice weapon um, it doesn't do too much it has good stats though those rhino boars won't be troubling you anymore Th this true you're strong well, young Oli boy played his part, uh, it's true, but if it wasn't for the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, your forest would still be in uh, right potch. 
Thank you. This present for you. Three bottles of iced coffee. Nice. And 50 guilders and a lot of stamps. That's always good. Okie dokie. Let's travel then to Ding Dong Dell. And check what's inside there. Hi. Ooh, and maybe I can gather some... Have you already finished your sandwich, darling? Dear me. Wherever... Uh, wherever do you put it all? Oh. No way, the pain girl. See, he he looks much healthier now. Not long until he is all better, but I have to keep it secret from everybody until then. What are you doing there? Eek! You gave me a fright. It, it's secret. What I was saying just then, alright? Huh? What was? Sorry, I wasn't listening. What's the secret? Uh, uh, well, you see, I f found this. Poorly bait under Oh, that sheep like creature. And I've been looking after him and keeping it secret from everybody. Bait under? Bot under? That's some kind of critter, huh? Isn't that a little dangerous? He's not dangerous, he's a good little lambkin. He was frightened of me at first, but now we are best friends. Crikey, fancy making friends with a wild beast. There is not many have there is not many have the knack for that. But there's a kind there's kind, eh? Taking care of his wounds and everything. It sure is. She must have a heart just filled of kindness. You'll keep in secret, won't you? Mommy will be so angry if she finds it out. Sure we will. But we have a favor to ask you to, okay? Alright, what is it? Could you hold real still just for a second? Ah, and you don't tell her that you will take her heart? Hmm. Well, I have no words for this. Okay, we have some kindness. Oh, my chest feels alright. Right. I'd better go and look after my little lampkin. Nice. So, what can we find here? 50 guilders. Neat. Hmm. I don't think we'll find too many people around here with uh, with quests or errands if I remember well there were two uh, and the Swift Solutions errand board so they should be around here then oh and there they are and I think I just should I hope he comes home soon. Is everything okay, ma'am? You look sort uh, sort of distracted. Oh well, it's my husband, you see. He's an explorer. He's often away for months on end, and this time he has gone somewhere very dangerous. I haven't heard from him in two years. Jeepers, two whole years? Oh, there is lonely. But I'm not worried, he is the greatest explorer in the world after all. No matter what happens to him, he's always find his way home to me. You really believe in your husband, huh? You can say that again. What a cracking missus. You are my kind of wife, you are full of the brim with belief. Huh? Thank you, I'm sure I'll hear that he has discovered a whole new continent any day now. Um, say ma'am, we have a favor to ask. Would you mind a favor? What kind of favor? You'd be sure be helping us, us an awful lot if you'd let us borrow some of your belief. Borrow my belief? By 
all means, that sounds like fun. Thank you very much. Okay, let's take heart. At least we told her we will mess with his heart or her heart. But it's nice. We have some belief now that the thickles. Oh, but my heart feels all a flutter. How lovely. Nice. So. What's up, man? I'm just not cut off out uh, for monsters hunting. Maybe it's time. I called it today. Soldier life just isn't for me anymore. But Sergeant, why would you say such a thing all of a sudden? Is everything okay? Is the Sergeant, he suddenly started talking about giving up soldiering. I just don't have any fight left in me. And the beasts, they scare me. Don't say that. What has happened to you? You used to be the bravest of us all. Huh? Say, Mr. Rippy, do you think the sergeant lost his courage, do you? He certainly seems broken-hearted, ain't it? What do, uh, what do you want to do about it, Ollie boy? Of course, let's try to cure him. Leave it to us. The sergeant will be a brave soldier again soon, I promise. Do you really think you can help him? No, Sweatman. We'll go and grab a bit of courage and be back before you know it. Do I have some... No. Ah. Uh, yeah. What's the matter, little cat? Yeah, school again. How oh, perfectly boring. Wasn't they talking about that? Uh, school is really fun. What's wrong? You know, every kid has to go to school, right? But it's such an awful lot of work, I just can't see the purpose of it, oh... Whatever's wrong with me, I wonder. Until yesterday, I loved going to school and playing with other children. Uh, looks like we've got ourselves a broken-hearted little lady. Really? You think she is broken-hearted? Do I ever? Lacking enthusiasm she is, or I am not tall and handsome. Yeah, you are not tall and... Maybe you are handsome, I don't know. If a fairy can be more handsome than you. Are you going to help her or what? Of course. Her friends must sure, sure be worried about her, huh? And she can't go on cutting class. We have to do something. Then it's enthusiasm hunting time for you, my lad. Get to it. Right -o. I have some enthusiasm, so let's give this heart piece to enthusiasm to this uh, little cat. Neato, yeah. What time it is? Oh no, I'm going to be late. How perfectly terrible. Then you should get going. I bet your friends can't wait to see you at school. I will thank you, boy. Oh, here, it's a little present to say thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three handfuls of chocolate, bonbons, and a lot of gilders. That's really neat. And some merit stamps, as usual. Alrighty. Hmm. Let's go to the Swift Solutions and check if uh, we can find some other non-found um, errands. He knows everything. Ooh. And I promised the Hootenanny here to talk with her, so maybe I go in. Maybe she can. Mm, who's there? Oh, hello! How can I help you today? Okay. Nothing too interesting. Let's get out from this place and... 
I thought maybe uh, we, we can talk with her, but... But, eh, no. Nothing. So, let's get back here. And check the table. Almamoony man. So, we have to go to Almamoon. And I think this will be some broken heartedness thing. Let's check if I can if I have some bounties to claim. No merit awards. I have eleven um, merit stamps. So maybe I could just uh, Makes it easier for you to sneak up on enemies from behind. Yeah. No. Hmm. Nothing now. Oh, by the way, can I get... Uh, no. No bounty hunts. I mean, no new bounty hunts. So... Let's travel then. To hmm, maybe let's try to talk with uh, the three face, <laughs> the old father oak. Uh, if I remember well, when when we just departed, he told us that uh, we should come back to him and talk to him. Maybe he has something, something interesting to say to us. Ah, uh, it was so long time ago when I was here. Oh, hello, Mr. Oak. Hi. Hello, old Father Oak. Oh, here you are again. How very nice it is to see you, young man. And how are your you faring on your faring on your adventure, huh? Tell me all about it. Oh, so you have been to Hamelin, and not only there, but uh, to the past also. You have traveled far, little ones. When I was but a sapling, I visited Autumnia myself, but in those days Hamelin was no great city. It could hardly even have been called a village. Huh? You mean you were once a traveler like us, old Father Oak? Indeed I was. It must be uh, centuries ago now, but the telling stone and I still remember it fondly. Blimey! me! Not even I knew that. Well, it has been many years since I spoke of it, but the tale of our travels is an important part of the wizard's companion. Would you like to read it? Of course! Yay! New tale of wonder. A tree and stone. Hmm. <laughs> we have to read it later on. Well, we can't exactly say no now, can we? Ho ho ho, I do apologize. I was talking of your travels. It made me nostalgic. Don't worry, old father oak. We'll keep coming here and telling you our story. Ho ho ho, how very kind of you. Then helping your story to continue is the least I can do. You obtained a healing tear gem. Hmm, nice. So, one of our uh, familiar is uh, able to learn healing tier from now on. I look forward to hearing the next chapter of your tale. Alrighty! That's nice. So, let's travel. Ah, I cannot use it inside here. I still have some places in my mind where I, I would like to go. Uh, which places, which places? Yeah. If I remember well, um, 
next to near Hamelin in, in that creepy place. The skeleton told us that uh, they are building some kind of casino. Uh, let's check that place. Can I go there? Oh yeah, the tombstone tra trail. So they are building some kind of casino and I received a key for that too. So let's check out the casino. Maybe it's uh, already done. Um, oh. Casino. Nice. Oh, and what's that? Ah, I cannot read what's at the top. We have the key. Welcome to the great casino. We are sure you'll have the time of your death. <laughs> hey, look. It's the friendly skeleton who gave us that key, ain't it? Wow, you remember me? What an honor! So you really built a casino, huh? That's really neat! Wow, thank you! It certainly is the greatest achievement of my death so far. I hope you enjoy all it has to offer. But first, a few pointers. We have four types of game here in the crypt. Slots, black jack, platinum and double cross. Playing these games wins you chips and the chips can be exchanged for some rare and magnificent prizes. Some of them are so rare that in fact they can't be acquired anywhere else. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything. Now go ahead, have fun. Die a little. It opened the map for me. Um, Alrighty, so let's just check uh, these, or let's talk with the dead people. My darling wife and I found our eternal bond while playing double cross. What is double cross? The sense of achievement when we reach the goal at the same time. Why is the glue that keeps us together? Hello? Shall I tell you a little about how these slots work? <laughs> yeah, let's learn it. Excellent! Allow me to give you a crash course in the fundamental of the slots. The basic idea in slot is to line up symbols either horizontal or di diagonal, uh, diagonally. Yeah, just like in Harry Potter, diagonally or diagonally, ah, never mind. Um, you wager a certain number of chips and depending on the combination of symbols you get, the amount you stand to win will vary. vary. If the symbols match, the chance meter will full fill. And when the chance meter is full, the machine will enter Mega Mode. In Mega Mode, you stand to win double of uh, double the amount each combination would normally back you. You can change the amount you are betting on each spin uh, at any point using uh, the directional buttons. It's up to you when you want to adjust your sh your stake. All kinds of items will make appearances during the game and you will be able to use them at more or less any point. Use L1 and R1 to select the item and press square to use it. Items have a range of effects from slowing down time boosting the chance meter. Hmm. Just bear in mind that you can only have a maximum of three items at any one time. 
Okay, so don't be afraid to use the items you get. It will make space for more. It should mention, I should mention at this point that not all items have helpful effects. For example, there is one that span, speeds up the time. Ooh. Yeah. These items are used to used automatically as soon as you collect them. So be aware. Now take your time and most importantly enjoy yourself. Mwaha. Okay. Let's just try this out. You do not have enough chips. You need at least 10 chips to play the slot. Oh, so I have to buy some some chips. Winning big on the slots is all about using one items one's items at the right time. Okay, maybe I can buy uh, chips here. Hello, moha! I am the cashier. If you want to exchange cash for chips or chips for prizes, I'm your man. Okay. One chip is five kilder. And what kind of prizes I can get? Ooh. Great Sage Secret fully restores idle ticket, familiar ticket that can be exchanged for idler, Tin Man ticket. Okay, Thin Man. Uh, 5k for. Yeah. Hmm. Big Babana. Satisfying to eat. Oh. This blade is just really awesome. A 10k? Ah, I don't get it. Okay, let's just buy... 100 chips. Maybe it will be enough. Thank you, mwah! Okie dokie. Let's stop with them. Hi. Winning begun a slot. Yeah, uh, we talked already. Hi. Wow, how about that, eh? Two blackjacks in a row. Oh, this is blackjack? What is this uh, girl doing here? Is she already dead? Hmm, I don't know. This is a ghost. I think I have to use the spirit medium uh, to speak with him. Who'd have thought that the dead have such fabulous facilities? Perhaps dying isn't the end of the world after all. Ah, uh, okay. Spirit medium. Hoping to win big, are you? <laughs> I'm just here to pass the time personally. I do have plenty of it after all. Yeah, you are dead after all. Ooh, bartender. You know, my favorite game's always been Platoon. There's nothing like having a bishop and a wizard in your hand, and at the same time, such as Hex. Ah, to the death with this accursed game. I've lost again. Why could uh, we not stick to honest pillaging? Hello, this is the blackjack table. Speak to the dealer if you want to play. She is standing right next to me. Wow. Blackjack is here then. And this is it's the game of platoon you are after. This is the table for you. Talk to the dealer if you want to play. She's standing next to me. Mm. Oh dear, you have to look on of one who has experienced the pain of being wiped out in a battle. Well, do not concern yourself uh, with it unduly. Such fretting will be 
the life of you. Wow. In fact, you should feel free to be defeated as many times as you wish. Don't worry, I'll be keeping count. Oh, thanks, I guess. No need to thank me, dear boy. It's my pleasure. Now, the number of wipeouts you have suffered so far is... A mere four! Oh, so... This guy can tell us this? Uh, very impressive. Perhaps you don't fit in with us, live beats, after all, eh? Wow! Okay, and there should be one more game. Somewhere here. Hello there, I'm the witch in charge of Double Cross. Oh, let's check the rules. Oh, ready to learn the Double Cross ultimate test of Tunis. I think I know how this goes. Both you and Nestor will be put on the test of Travers, the previous collapsing walkway, and try to make it to the other side without falling off. Before getting started, you will get to choose the stage you want to try. Uh, these are more chips on offer. If you are willing, you are willing to risk one of the more dangerous stages. Once you have selected the stage, it will be time for you to run. Gantle, yeah, it's just like uh, it was in the Temple of Trials. Uh, yeah, the panels are falling off and I have to go to certain places with both characters and not fall off. Let's play one. Stage 1. Road to Ruin. Uh, yeah. Let's try it out. Time to prove you can work together. Ooh, that's really fast, and I already lost 50 gilder, 50 chips. Ah, all right. So this is this play. Let's check. Uh, let's check this. Okay, go. And I have to ah. Bat, bat, nothing. Mm. Yeah, I think I will spend all of my money here or... Okay, so this is this one. Uh, I will just buy some more some more chips. Yeah, hundred more. And I will check. Welcome to the blackjack table. To be honest, I don't know how to play blackjack, so I'm going to take, take you through the basics of blackjack, so clean out your ears. I'm bla in blackjack you complete with, compete with the dealer to see whose cards have the total closest to... Oh, 21. Okay, I get it. So, uh, the numbers... Uh, 21. If you are closer to 21, then you win. At the state of the game I will deal as both two cards, so it starts with two cards and if you want another card select hit, press X and yeah, hmm, I understand it. So and if we stop near to 21 and the other person has a lower number then we win. Okay, let's play this course uh, let's put 10 let's play I have 13 
let's get one. Ah, okay, I just lost it. And she received 19, so... Play again. The real poor just slammed their chips down, you know. Don't think bad. Okay. 17, I think I will... I will stand. Yay! I won, and I won 30. Nice! Let's play one more time, and then let's go forward. 19, okay, that's... I have really big chances. was a draw so nothing happened oh or I lost my money okay one more time 21 okay blackjack I won nice okay okay let's go I just won 40 chips, so that's cool. Welcome to Platoon Table. Let's check the rules. Pay attention as I take you through the rules of Platoon. In Platoon, you are dealt a total of 10 cards from which you from five, form 5 units. You will then use these units to uh, do battle. I think it's easiest if uh, I start by telling you about the two different types of cards, regular cards and special cards. Okay, regular cards are those from two queen. These are called pawns. Two to the queen. Uh, yeah. The cards from 2 to 9 are worth their face value. Well, 10 Jack and Queen are each worth 10. Okay. Special cards, uh, meanwhile, uh, come in three varieties. Kings, Bishops and Wizards. The important thing to say that Kings is that if you have one, if you your unit, you will always win, regardless of the unit's total value. But if there are two units facing each other, both of which contains a king, the unit with the highest total value of the regular cards will win. Okay, the bishop has the opposite effect and any unit that contains one will lose. However, there is one exception to this rule, when the opposing unit contains a king, a unit containing a bishop will win. Uh, if two units containing bishop faces each other, okay, that's uh, final. Let's turn to the wizard. Wizard cards swap you until with that of your opponent. Oh, swap your unit with that of your opponent. Just be aware that you cannot have a unit compo composed solely of a wizard and wizard cards have a value of zero. Uh, okay, I'm going to give you a demonstration how to divide 10 cards. Uh, okay, this is a bit complicated and long. I don't want to bore you with this. Victory. Yeah, two, two many rules, uh, let's just play one. 200 chips? Okay. No way then. <laughs> Maybe later on. Okie dokie, so... We are done, let's get out from this place. And is there any other place where I should go? Um, I will check.
the ma the travels fast and if not then I think uh, I will finish this part but first of all let's see travel Dingdong Dao oh on the moon we should go there yeah let's just go there fast and check that uh, one one thing on the moon here we come Ooh, and I already found someone with uh, a heart. Ah, it's too hot. So fiercely hot. Jeepers, you sure are sweating this awful lot, mister. Indeed, no matter how long I live, I will never grow accustomed to this infernal heat. It must be real hard on you standing guard all day like that. It is, of course. There are many who cannot endure the hardship of our profession. Did you never think of quitting? Ah, never. I am proud to serve my country and protect the peace of our great realm. Only boy, no ordinary person could stand there in the sun like that. And no, not go babanas. You're right. You must have a ton of restraint, huh? Uh, I hope you don't mind, but I have something to ask you. Of course. Is something the matter? Well, there are people out there who have lost their restraint and I was hoping we might borrow some of yours to help them out. Your words mystify me, but uh, if I can be of help to those in need, I will gladly assist you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, I can take his heart. We got some restraint. Good stuff. Woohoo! But we still miss courage and kindness and so on. But that's really nice. Oh, and there he is. Hi! Oh, I just can't stop worrying. Have I lost her forever? What's wrong? You seem kinda upset. It's my beloved. I just can't help thinking that she has given her heart to another. Eh? Going behind your back? You mean... Have you got proof like? No, I have no proof. She lives many... She lives many leagues from here in my homeland. We meet only rarely. Well, if you've got no proof, what are you doubting her for? That's not very nice, is it? But she's so beautiful, her eyes are like the stars themselves. I just know that other suitors must be flocking to her do door. Oh, I'm so worried, I can't think. Gee, he's in a real bad way. If only he could learn to trust her. That's exactly what he can do, Oli boy. Broken hearted, he is suffering from for what of a little belief? I think I have belief. We cannot leave the poor lad like this. We've got to help him out. Of course. That's decided then. Let's go. Belief. Yeah, let's give some belief. Here we go. Belief. Okie dokie. Hmm. I don't feel worried anymore. How could I have doubted my beloved? I've been a complete fool. That you have my lad, there's no denying it. Fretting like that won't get you nowhere. You're right. Thanks and thank you too. I have regained my faith in my dear beautiful beloved. I must give you something to say thank you. Here, will this do? Three oh, frosty flans, ooh, and a lot of killers, and of course the usual three stamps. Nice. Three merit stamps, and if I remember well, let's just uh, check the errand board. We are finished for now. Yeah, everything is underway. Okay. Um. 
Let's go to. Let's go to Hamelin. Maybe we can find Horus there. Yeah, I know this part is a bit long, but. Well, it's not that bad. We saw a lot of new things, and I think it was kinda enjoyable. No, Horus is not here. Or is he? Ah, uh, okay, guys. Anyway, I think uh, I will finish this part here. I hope you had fun. Next time, I will continue with uh, the story and I will go to the hideout of Kublai, King of Sky Pirates will be right in front of the place. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, please put your comments uh, below and uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, every every uh, thumbs are <laughs> appreciated and every comments too. Thanks for watching again. Goodbye.